Uh, hey guys, welcome, this is Gaming Glow Cloud, to a faceless let's play of Diplomacy, the game of international intrigue. Uh, okay, <coughs> I tried to turn the volume as low as possible, <coughs> I'm a bit sick right now, obviously, so, I don't know, anyway. Let's get into this game. This game should be fun. I'm really excited about playing it. And yeah, it's going to be great. So we have seven choices of countries. This is Austria-Hungary. England, obviously. France, obviously. Um, Germany, Italy, Russia, and then Turkey. Um, since I'm Russian... I'm gonna start playing as Russia. I've never played as Russia before. And I think I have actually. I think I played one game with Russia. And then one game with Austria Hungary. Yeah, I played one game with Russia and Austria Hungary. I thought I'd play this Turkey instead. <clears throat> I believe I played one game with as England as well. They were all at normal difficulty. So I wanted to try a game at hard difficulty started playing one at hard difficulty as Austria-Hungary. But then I thought, why not? Let's play as Russia. Excuse me. So yeah, let's get started. It's gonna be fun. Uh, it's different maps. There's only two choices. There are only two choices. Okay, let's get started. Started the standard scenario. Starts in spring 1901, and yeah, I don't know how many more maps are here. Okay, so you can load. So let me show you how to actually play this game. What what happens is you move your piece to a different territory, and these spots with the stars on them, you're, you have to capture them in order to win. You have to capture 18 of these to win a game. <clears throat> Each during the first few turn, turns it's not as um, power grab based yet. It's mostly um, moving around uh, grabbing well Turkey, Austria, Hungary and Russia typically I battle over the Black Sea and the, the Baltics that's the main goal right here for one of these typically it's between Austria Hungary and Turkey Austria Hungary being right here and Turkey being right there as you can see Austria Hungary is kind of blocked off by everything and like it's got Turkey to this side Russia to this side Germany to that side it's completely surrounded which is sometimes really bad for Turkey and Turkey is the uh, one in the game that's hardest to play as, which is why I tried playing as Austria-Hungary. Uh, not Turkey. Austria-Hungary is surrounded, and it's harder, harder to play with because it's surrounded by people. And so I, that's why I tried playing as Austria-Hungary. I haven't played as Turkey yet, apparently. <clears throat> yeah, I don't remember playing as Turkey. Anyway, the first move instantly, I'm gonna go with Black Sea because as you can see, there's an anchor in Ankara, and if he's smart, he's going to go Black Sea as well, so, yeah, I'm not letting him have the chance. I'm not going to move Warsaw yet. I'm not sure. I want to see what everyone else is going to do. I'm guessing, because this can move to Silesia or Prussia, and then... One of these can move to Galicia. But maybe if I... Warsaw to Galicia, I can bounce that. That can F off. So yeah, let's see how that goes. As you can see, England is over here being England. If England and France team up, they sweep this, in this entire half right here. Like, all of this is going to be pretty much gone. Typically, France goes for Spain and Portugal first, but I mean, I'm gonna. I'm not focusing on Spain and I mean on France or 
England yet, because I haven't made any moves yet. So, I've made my choices. Let's get it on with the moves. Let's not, not get it on with the moves. See, he moved to Galicia. I was right. Ha! He's an idiot. <clears throat> I predict that pretty well, actually. Move to Silesia and Galicia. Yep. I play this uh, game on a regular basis with some of my friends, so I'm used to how they think, and so it's basically a compute uh, the same thing except for like now I'm dealing with a computer. Oh crap. This computer is smart. I see what he did there. I see what he did there. He's not going to give me the Black Sea though, so that's still guaranteed. Okay, I'm going to get one piece. Two pieces if that works out. Actually. Wait, but do I want to do that? Yes, I want to do that, because he's got a piece on me. I have to do that, because I want to gain two pieces, and then... But then I won't get, gain a piece at Sevastopol. I have to put it down Moscow, St. Petersburg. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll just do that. <clears throat> I gain pieces this turn. Every two turns I gain pieces, and the pieces are based on how many supply centers I have. So right now, as you will see, I have, like, a little Russian flag. It's not Russian flag. It's the old flag before, you know, Soviet Union and everything. And um, I've got four supply centers right now. Yeah, I know my Russian history because I happen to be Russian. I don't know if you guys know that. Anyway, let's get on with it. Um, Italy is obviously going for Tunis this turn. Spain has been captured by France. Typical French move. I'm surprised this didn't go... Oh, something fell over here. I'm surprised this didn't go there. Typically, that's the... Sometimes the... Well, that's what I would have done. I would have gone straight for Trieste. Even if I didn't get it. Unless they worked something out. You don't know. They're going for Greece. And I think Bulgaria is going... For Romania. And Serbia is going for Romania. So that's going to be a bounce. And, but I have support. How support works is. One piece. Well obviously. One piece goes in. And this piece supports it. So. It can't possibly bounce. Unless. These two also. Support it. One. Like for example. If. Romania moves in. With the support of Serbia. Which is not going to happen. Because it's Turkey v. Austria Hungary. It's like. Everyone fends for themselves sort of thing. And Germany is not being smart. Okay, let me see. Typical Germany move. Germany has Munich, Kiel, and Berlin. Um, there is a fleet in Kiel. Why they would move that to Holland, I have no idea. You can honestly... Like, your first move as Germany should be to go for Denmark. So, I mean, but I'm I'm not dealing with that yet. And luckily, Norwegian Sea can't touch me before I go do anything with building pieces and stuff. So let's do this. Oh, Warsaw. I didn't move Warsaw. Um... Yeah, I think I'll hold there. Actually, yeah, I'll I'll hold it because that that has a piece on me now. If he decides to go Budapest, then I'm screwed. <clears throat> yeah, that would have been bad. Ooh, convoy. And here come the grunts. Ah, let me. Oh, that's nice of. That's really nice of them. They have the Black Sea now. But hey. 
I captured some stuff. Oh, I should have worked with Austria-Hungary. If I knew they were going to go for Bulgaria, I would have stayed out of Romania. I would have bounced out of the Black Sea. Oh, well, I gained two pieces, so that's my advantage there. It's already been recording for ten minutes. Wow. Excuse me. They make really weird grunt grunting sounds, and it's really unsettling. Okay, I want to build a navy at the north coast. So, the St. Petersburg north coast. So, the next turn, I can go straight for Norway. Unless I go Denmark. I can't. I can't hold that. I can't hold Denmark. Not yet, anyway. Um, oh, he bounced back out of Munich. Okay. Um, army in Moscow. And, oh, Italy went straight for Triest. See, there you go. A bit late, but okay. I mean, they can, they're not going to be able to hold it this turn. I'm really concerned about this turkey being all up in my face, though. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> Slightly dying over here. But don't, no worries. Right now I have the biggest peace gain, because somehow I gained both um, Romania and Sweden. Because the computer is working again. Uh, not working together so if they were it was if it was all against me I would be pretty screwed but I'm fine okay it's my next turn and uh, Turkey still has the Black Sea um, okay okay I'm gonna try get into Norway's butt. St. Petersburg North Coast to Norway. And let's support that St. Petersburg to Norway move. Yeah, we just want that one tiny little piece of Norway. We don't want the entire Norway. <clears throat> um, now that he's got two on Sevastopol, I'm just going to hold Sevastopol. And support his hold with Moscow. Now, actually, that is quite concerning. I'm going to move the Moscow to Ukraine instead. And support Sevastopol's hold. That way. Um... I don't want to move anywhere. I'm going to hold at Warsaw because I have a bad feeling about that. Although I hope that they they go back for their homeland and take back trees. I hope they wouldn't be that dumb to go after uh, Romania when they're being invaded by Italy. Who spawned a fleet in Venice? Why would you spawn a fleet in Venice? Like that... That's dumb. I guess... Oh, did they... But, no. He didn't move Rome at all. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. <gasps> moved out of Norway! <laughs> yes! That is everything I've wanted and more. That is everything I wanted and more. Wait. He supported... Oh, that butt. He's, Turkey and Austria-Hungary are working together. Oh, that cut support, too. So I lost the Black Sea. I lost Sevastopol. I mean... Um... Wow. I did not expect Austria-Hungary and Turkey. Okay, I retreat two pieces. 
like I have to disband this. Like this is gone. And that has to go to Galicia. Man, this isn't looking good for me. Shit. Sorry for the cussing, but ah, I don't like that. Well, good thing is I can make my move on Germany, but no, I want to. I can go at them directly. Ah, uh, man. My goal right now is to kill off Turkey. Um. But for now, I'm going to hold Norway, support, support that hold, so that I gain yet another piece at Moscow, and um, out of desperation, actually no, I'm in Galicia, let's take advantage of that and move to Vienna. No, not Bohemia. Galicia to Vienna. Um, the good thing about that being there is I, it, that can't move. So, can't maneuver. He's going to gain that, but he can't maneuver. That's good. Um, Ukraine to Romania. Since I don't have an ally in... Germany, really. I'm gonna go for Prussia. And Prussia's, I mean, and. But why? Okay, Warsaw to Prussia. And they still haven't taken Denmark. Which is, I think, what the goal of this is. Maybe I should go to Sweden to Denmark. No, they're gonna. Uh, just in case, I don't wanna get any more pieces as banded I wanna at least balance out cuz one two three four five s that would be six one two three four five oh yeah I would still gain a piece I stand to gain a piece I have six supply centers okay let's see how this works oh betrayal interesting That's interesting. <clears throat> it's very interesting. Did not see that coming. I mean, why are you grunting all of a sudden? As if you didn't see that. Wow. So they totally all just like betrayed each other completely. That worked out very well in my favor. Like, I did not expect that. That was unexpected. I actually gained two pieces this turn and they gained Denmark but that's that's fixable because they're all up in mainland France right now for some reason they de Germany decided to invade France there's no way that they're getting oh they're gaining a piece and there's a there was a bounce there okay um, I still gain two. Um, you know what? I'm going to go for that army in Moscow. And just to support myself in Warsaw. Do I want to give myself an army in Warsaw or do I want to support all of that? Yeah, I'll give myself an army in Warsaw because the armies can still go to Denmark. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, and this way I can maneuver and get kick Sevastopol, take back Sevastopol, because my house is right there. I live right there-ish. Of course, this is 1902 right now, but yeah, yeah. Okay, this has been going on for 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to go through this build step, and I'm going to end this video here. So yeah, uh, let's hit play, let's resolve, let's see what happens. Let's see who builds where. England, uh, Ger 
Okay, I can maybe able to take Berlin. Okay, Warsaw, Moscow, Ukraine. This is perfect, actually. I still kept. I kept it. That's why I kept Romania, technically, because everyone was just like, "Nope, let's get the hell out of here." I mean, that's typical Romania behavior. 